what I will do now is start IS, and that's that's very critical. After you uninstall, you need to start back the IS. Otherwise, the Beta 3 installation program won't find it. So we just simply click on Start. Okay. Now, for those of you that are that are doing a new installation, imagine you come to this screen, and unlike my screen, which had the app on Beta 2, on your screen you don't see anything. Well, if that's the case, what you need to do is to click on the Turn Windows Features on or off. And this is very critical because Windows 7 by default, a lot of machines I've seen, does not have the IS installed. And even if you do have it installed, please, 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 expand out this, this menu. And what you want to do is you'll see, uh, you'll see the web management tools and the worldwide web services. You want to expand all of these and make sure the appropriate options are checked. By default, even if IS is installed, not all the appropriate required components of IS are on there. Microsoft will do a very bare bones installation. And so it will be adequate maybe to serve an HTML page, but it will not be adequate to run a fully featured .NET web application or .NET based mobile application as Appian is providing you. So, uh, make sure the last three options are checked, the IS Management Console, Scripts and Tools and Services, and you know if you check too much, it's not going to hurt anything. It won't break anything, I promise you. But if you don't check enough options, then you may not have uh, enough of the uh, IS features to run. So now we'll go ahead and open up the World Wide Web Services. Uh, the most critical is the first two, especially the application development features. Now, a lot of people make this mistake. They simply check this box. But if you just check this box, it's going to be a blue color instead of a check mark, which means that it's only partially selected. So Microsoft, and I don't know why they make you do this, you have to expand this and one by one check every single box. And um, you know, go ahead and just check everything to make sure you have all the .NET options and, and all the different application features so that uh, you don't have to worry the application is not running properly. And again, checking too many will not hurt anything. The other critical one is the HTTP features, and uh, I would recommend checking at least all of these, or you could check uh, all of them. And for the other three options, just check it at this level, which will partially check uh, some very basic features of security performance and health diagnostics. Uh, just having the basic features are adequate, you know, you're not running this in a production environment, it's just on your development machine. So you don't need to have too much security or too much performance features. It's going to work perfectly fine. So now that you've checked all these things and click OK, what it's going to do is actually start to install IS, or if you already have IS installed, it'll install uh, the missing components. Once that's done, uh, you can go ahead and close this control panel. And what you want to do is open up the browser and type in localhost. And when you here, you should see this IS welcome page. If you don't see this IS welcome page, your IS is not properly installed. Do not install Appian. There's nothing wrong with the Appian beta. Your IS, your environment, is not properly configured. Um, if you do see this, then there's one thing, additional thing you need to do to prepare the environment, which is to go to your um, C drive and go to the INET pub folder. And the WW root is where, uh, by default, IS will be storing all of its web files that it's going to be serving up. And you need to click Properties and make sure the security is properly set. So if you come down here, you want to see something that says IS users. I have seen some machines that don't even have this. I don't know why. Uh, if it does have it, it's quite possible when you click that it does not have full control. That's what I've seen on many machines. In my case, I've, I've properly configured it, but in many cases, it doesn't have a full control option checked. And therefore, the ISI users account, which is what IS uses to read and write to this folder, it won't be able to read and write properly. And that can affect how your application runs. So you'll need to click Edit. And you'll need to select the IS users and then check the box and click OK. Or you could just click Add and go ahead and type in the 
account here and click the check names and then click OK and I'll add the IS users. Okay. So once you've done that, um, then what we're going to do next is go ahead and install the beta 3. 